the humblest clod of earth has its particular jewels. For know that though the lesser cannot comprehend but only reflect the great, yet the great comprehends, permeates and animates the lesser. Each snow crystal manifests its individual pattern of deity. And this is what is meant by the imminence of the divine spirit. Many of you have sought urgently to rise to the heights of art and the divine sciences, yet have lost your own particular gifts during your dizzy ascent. For I am found in the laughter of daily life, in the absurd, in the casual sketch, in the ignored small talent. Despise your individual gifts and you grow ill. True health is to be in harmony with the higher and the lower spheres. It is to blend with all degrees of consciousness. Otherwise, illness and sorrow redress the balance, reminding you of that which you ignore. For the artist who sees beauty in a bowl of fruit on a kitchen table knows me as well as the scientist who penetrates the atom and the occultist who transcends the earthly sphere. Be original, for that which is original in you is of deity. That which is mere repetition does not exist. Bring the deities the gift of yourself. Do not despise your oddities. By enjoying your originality, you will learn of your origin. And so you will know the divine source. Respect the originality in all about you, whether a particular cat with its particular ways or in the drawings of a child. So will you know their true selves and your own true self will become apparent on the earthly plane. And you will know perfect health and you will radiate health to all whose lives touch yours. Express divinity through music and the arts and through your works and through radiations from your rainbow-hued auras. Each aura differs from another 